So far this year, we've got very close to getting a second senior German PDC title winner. Gabriel Clemens got all the way to the final of the third players championship event of the year, but lost, as he has done in all six of his Pro Tour finals. We've also seen Martin Schindler get to a players championship semi-final, where he lost in a deciding leg to the eventual champion Ross Smith. In the most recent floor event, Ricardo Piotrzeczko lost 7-2 in the semis, despite averaging 102, as Christoph Ratajski averaged close to 110. This means that there is still only one German player, Max Hopp, to win a senior PDC title, and his career looks to have already peaked, as he suffered a big downfall from the highs of 2018 and 19. Hopp first made a mark on the international stage in 2011, where he finished as the runner-up in both the boys and youth pairs draws at the WZF World Cup. In the following year, he managed to become the boys singles champion at the WZF Euro Cup where he beat Jeffrey Desuan in the final. Towards the end of 2012, he won the Central Europe qualifier for the 2013 PDC World Championship, at which he became the second youngest player to play in the event, being just 16 at the time. At Ali Pali, he was able to beat Charles Peterson in the preliminary round to set up a first round tie against Dennis Ovens. Against Ovens, Hop went 2-1 up in sets, but lost the last six legs to lose 3-2. He was unsuccessful at Q School at the start of 2013, but he appeared at two majors that year. He lost 6-4 to Paul Nicholson in the first round of the European Championship, which he qualified for through the European Order of Merit. His position on this Order of Merit also got him a place at Ali Pali, where he lost in the first round 3-1 to Robert Thornton. He was unsuccessful at Q School again in 2014, but at the end of the year, he qualified for the World Championship through the European Order of Merit again, becoming the first German to appear in three PDC World Championships in a row. At Ali Pali, he beat the 10th seed, Mervyn King, in the first round. The game went to a deciding set, which Hock won 5-3 with a 1-6-1 finish on the ball for the match. He lost 4-0 in the next round to Vincent van der Voort, but his performances on the Euro Tour over the year and his win at Ali Pali put him in the top 64, which meant that he earned a PDC tour card for the 2015 season. He lost in his first game at the UK Open at the start of the year and at the European Championships towards the end of the year, but he managed to beat Dimitri Vandenberg in the first round of the World Series Finals. At the end of the year, he had the biggest moment of his darts career to that point, when he made it all the way to the World Youth Championship Final, where he beat Nathan Aspinall on the stage in Minehead. This was the first Darts World title of any type won by a German player. Following this, he appeared at Ali Pali for the fourth time, where he lost 3-1 to Benito van der Pass. 2016, he won his first development tour title, with the win coming on German soil. He also got his first European Tour quarter-final this year, where he lost to Peter Wright. The World Youth Championship win got him a place at the Grand Slam, where he was eliminated in the group stage with just a single win. At Ali Pali at the end of the year, he got his second win on the World Championship stage, where he beat Vincent van der Voort 3-1 before losing 4-0 to Kim Hybrex. In 2017, he made his World Series debut when he was selected to appear at the 2017 US Darts Masters. However, he was beaten in the first round by Canada's Dave Richardson. He also played in the German World Series event and the World Series Finals, where he beat Adrian Lewis 6-2 in the first round before losing to Michael Van Gerwen. He failed to qualify for the 2018 World Championship, ending his streak of five years at Ali Pali and the UK Open, but he went on to have a great 2018 season. In 2018, he reached quarter-finals at back-to-back -back Euro Tour and Players Championship events, showing that he was in a good run of form. He qualified for another Euro Tour event in April, the German Darts Open, by coming through the German qualifier, where he won three games. At the event, he went on a run to his first Euro Tour semi-final, beating world number two Peter Wright on the way. In the semis, he beat reigning world champion Rob Cross with a 1-2-1 finish in a deciding leg. He pulled out this finish again in a deciding leg in the final, where he beat Michael Smith, making him the first host nation qualifier 
to win a Euro Tour event, as well as the first German to win a PDC Pro Tour title. This helped him to become the first German player to play at the World Match Play, but he lost in the first round to Ian White. Following this, he won his second title of the year at a Players' Championship event in Ireland, where he beat Madars Rasmus 6-3 in the final. This event was held in Ireland ahead of the World Grand Prix where he became the first German player to appear in the double start tournament but he lost in the first round to Dave Chisnell. At the 2018 European Championship held in Dortmund, he became the first German player to reach a singles major semi-final but he suffered heartbreak on home soil, missing three match starts to beat James Wade before the machine took out 61 to force the deciding leg which he won. At the World Championship, he started in the second round where he beat Danny Noppert 3-0 to become the first German player to reach the third round of a World Championship. However, he then lost to Michael van Gerwen. At the end of year awards, he was crowned the Young Player of the Year having won two Pro Tour titles. He appeared as a contender in the 2019 Premier League but he lost to Raymond van Barneveld in Berlin. He then reached a Euro Tour semi-final at the German Darts Grand Prix where he missed two match starts to beat Simon Whitlock in a deciding leg. He then got to his third PDC Senior Final at a Players' Championship event where he lost in a deciding leg to Harry Ward. He got his first win on the Winter Garden stage at the World Match Play where he beat Dave Chisnell in an 11-9 tiebreak before losing 12-10 to Michael Smith. At the final Players' Championship event of 2019, he hit the German record average of 119, beating Ian White 6-2, who averaged 111 himself. He then beat Benito van der Pass in a deciding set at the Worlds, but lost to Darius Labanowskis in the next round to fail to make the last 16 at Ali Pali again. The 2018 and 19 seasons had been great for him, but carrying the expectations of a nation began to get to him and his form dropped in 2020. He withdrew from the UK Open at the start of the year due to illness and following the COVID-19 break, he struggled to get results. He didn't make it past the last 16 of any singles event that year and missed two match starts to beat Johnny Clayton in the first round of the European Championship. He beat Gordon Mathis 3-0 in the first round at Ali Pali but then lost 3-1 to Mervyn King. 2021 was also hard for him with his only notable singles run coming at the UK Open. He competed in the German Super League, where the winner got a World Championship spot, but he lost in a deciding leg to Martin Schindler in the semis. This meant that he missed out on the World Championship and his tour card was under threat. If Raymond Smith had beaten Mervyn King at Ali Pali, Pop would have lost his tour card. Smith went 3-1 up, but King recovered to win 4-3, delighting Hop he was on German commentary for the game. He finished the season 64th on the Order of Merit, the final spot that held their cards. He changed his darts and totally changed his throw at the start of 2020, but it didn't work, and he averaged just 88 over the course of the season, the 121st highest on the Players' Championship series. He went back to his old throw eventually, but he still couldn't get back to his old form, with his only good run coming at the 28th Players Championship of the year where he got to the quarters. He lost in the final of the West Europe World Championship qualifier and the first round of the PDPA qualifier, meaning that he missed Ali Pali for the second year running. He finished the year ranked 89th on the order of merit, meaning that he lost his tour card. He attempted to win it back at EUQ school, but he only scored four points in the final stage when the cutoff was seven. Part of the reason for his downfall was the torn knee ligament, but it is unknown exactly when this affected him. At just 26, his career is far from over, but he will need to get back to his old form if he wants to get a tour card again.